Tomorrow, the future of KCI is on the line again. The city could approve an agreement with the developer poised to build the new one terminal design. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez found out what the city now wants in the deal. Andres. Rhiannon, at tomorrow's meeting here at City Hall, the council members will have questions for Edgemore regarding the terminal's financing, workforce, and benefits for the community. It is expected to be a lively discussion similar to the one that took place earlier tonight a few blocks away. On the eve of a major discussion for KCI's new single terminal. Talk a little bit about um, benefits of the project. Edgemore hosted their second to last design workshop at the Kansas City Downtown Library, where residents like Evan Stangy jotted down what the new structure should have. I think they're committed to seeing what we want. For him, it's affordable parking and making the terminal accessible using mass transit. A lot of people will want to know um, a little, little more on design, so what's it going to look like? And through a detailed presentation, those questions were answered tonight. Although basics like the number of gates and where baggage claim is going to go has already been figured out, things like amenities are still up for discussion. We're taking back uh, you know, the key themes that we hear from these various open houses and we'll look to incorporate the best ideas into the new design. Edgemore tells 41 Action News they've considered these conversations a success with as many as three to 400 people attending the first five meetings. And what are the things that you really want to see in the case of the convenience of checking in is very important. Tomorrow, council members will decide whether to change or approve the memorandum of understanding between the city and Edgemore. We have a council that is motivated to get to an agreement on this, and so I think that we'll be able to get through all of the details that are tough, but at the same time, we want to make sure that it's a good deal for Kansas City. And she told me that the, she wants to get this memorandum approved by the end of the year because as residents voted, they'd rather see this terminal uh, go ahead being built sooner rather than later. Reporting live tonight in downtown Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.